Europe's top diplomats stepped into bright sunshine in bright colors too. Glad to be here. Good to be here, she says, but she knows there's a hard road ahead. Even her short ride through Tehran takes her past Iran's defining symbols, including this iconic monument, the revolution renamed Azadi, freedom. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? First stop, the elegant foreign ministry. Ms. Mogherini spent many hours in talks with Iran's foreign minister Zarif in European capitals to clinch the deal two weeks ago. She's come to his city to ensure it's implemented. Now it is time to uh, show uh, that uh, not only reaching the deal, but uh, starting to work on the implementation of the deal is going to be historical. Mr. Zarif, when it comes to implementation, how worried are you about whether Iran can keep its commitments? As you know, some senior officials have said that some of red, Iran's red lines have been crossed in this deal. When Iran promises something, it's faithful to its promise. So long as this goes through all of our legal procedures, I have no doubt that this deal will be implemented. Ms. Mogherini knows there's still strong criticism in the West and the region, including Iran. She wants to hear all points of view here. It's in offices like this of the parliamentary speaker where Ms. Mogherini will hear real concerns about this deal. There have been threats in the parliament itself saying that the deal threatens Iran's security. But the real power in this land, the supreme leader, is known to have given it his blessing. And that's what matters most. And most Iranians back the deal too. They want the real deal when it comes to improving their lives. A very young population takes more interest in a technology revolution than an Iranian one before they were born. But there's strong pride here in being Iranian. I'm really pleased the foreign ministers are coming. I hope they get to know what Iran is really like. In the past, the image of our country has been abused by ourselves and by others. All roads already seem to lead to Tehran. Every week brings another high-level delegation from Europe all keen to take advantage of all the opportunities here. But it all depends on this deal. That's why its supporters are doing everything they can to make it work. Lise Doucette, BBC News, Tehran.